Also in this last section, we have some different breeds, breeds we haven't seen before yet in the two other sections, but also we see some breeds we have seen before. We have seen a Beardy before, we have seen a Carry before, so it's we have seen Basset before, but interesting, a nice selection of breeds representing the different FCE groups, beginning with the, the biggest one, the Irish Wolfhound, and also our Russian judge. Uzerlamski is having his first impression about what is in his section. It's interesting you mentioned the Irish Wolfhound because that's uh, the tallest breed in the world. The tallest breed and we have the, the smallest breed in the world representing the previous section, the Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah, that's it's correct. interesting, yes. isn't it? And also we have the biggest in the Sidehound group, the Irish Wolfhound, and we have the Italian Greyhound, which is oh, the yes. smallest in the spell, yeah, of course. The Sidehound group. So first up is the Russian representative. This is Bourbon Talamor Good Stuff, otherwise known as Bourbon. Irish Wolfhound, three-year-old male. Owned by Oleg Nalobin, handled by Gregor Nemanik, and bred by Ivana Yoklova. It's obviously a champion in Russia, is also a champion in Luxembourg, and is an international champion. He won 10 times Best in Show All Breeds, also has 6 Reserve Best in Shows, and has 22 group wins. He's been shown in 7 European countries, and I'm told Bourbon is the one and only dog in Russian kinology that won Best in Show in the same year at two most famous Russian dog shows, Eurasia and White Knights, with more than 12,000 entries. Also winning best of group at all three biggest Russian shows in the same year makes him only one who ever did that. He's top winning Irish Wolfhound of all time, Roni, in Russia. Wow. Yeah. Well, an impressive goal. And you saw the judge examining, you know, looking at the length, the length of the body, comparison to the height. You want to see this typical head, this bust-shaped head. 
Also, the Irish Wolfhound is a real hound. So you want to have substance, you want to have bone, you want to have length of legs. But still, it needs to be a hound. It must not be too heavy, it must not be too coarse. And of course, size is important to have this upstanding dog and this typical coat, this typical coat structure. And also, the easy moving action with good extension. The Irish Wolfhound from Russia. You need a long stride to run with that dog, don't yeah, you? That's right, but this gentleman has long legs as well. Eh? <laughs> he does as very long legs. Dog. Yeah. I think longer than yours. <laughs> really? I'm not such a big guy. <laughs> okay, so moving on to our next representative in section three. This is the Weimarana from Belgium. Doc in Camelot's Heaven Can Wait, otherwise known as Nash. This is a five-year-old male. Owned by Edwin Lin Leonards, Tony Hart, and Linda Van de Schieke. And handled by Edwin, and bred by Susan Thomas. It's an American, Irish, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Slovakia, and Germany champion. Sorry, German champion. And Nash is the 2013 top producing sire and finishes the number one Weimarana All Systems in America 2013 and was best of breed at the 2014 Westminster Dog Show. Apparently, Nash has an amazing will to please. Wow, also a really great line of titles. The Weimarana originated from Germany, it's a German breed. German hunting breed, the Weimarsche Stahlhund, as they say in Germany. Typically, uh, medium size. You want to also here. You want to have a strong dog, not too heavy, with normal angulation. You want to see a normal shaped forechest, not too much. You want to see a nearly level top line. The Weimar Weimaraner, the pointing dog from uh, from Germany, originated from Germany. And it's interesting, uh, with a dog with no coat, you can't hide anything under these lights, can you? This is what I was saying, you know, about coat breeds and non-coat breeds. Yeah. It's very true. Well, moving on to a coated breed, yep. uh, is the World Dog Show winner from Russia, actually. Oops, I did it again. Del Quale Impavido. Uh, actually, the pet name of this one is called Ronnie. Really? Yes. Four-year-old. the same as mine. It Unbelievable. Is. It's a four-year-old male, owned by Olga Klimova, who's handling today. Bred by Filippo Ripoli, so Russian champion, Italy, Swiss, San Marino, Slovenia, Lithuania, Latvia, Belarus, Czech Republic, Ukraine, Moldova, Philippines, and Montenegro champion, and was best in show the World Dog Show 2015, and reserve group winner at the Euro Dog Show last year as well. Roni's won around 60 groups and 23 best in shows. Have you won that, Roni? Unbelievable. <laughs> Well, I had the, also the privilege of judging this dog, and I saw him win at, at the World Dog Show this year in Milano, and it's, it's also a lovely representative of the breed. Well, I already told something about the breed standard, as I said before, we want to see a lean and active dog, we want to see plenty of daylight, and as we were mentioning before, you know, it's a coated breed, so also coat preparation and, and quality of coat is very important, but under there it's a working dog. It's a British, British pastoral dog, you know, so you, you want to have this nice length of body. You don't want to have a short body, the length needs to be really in the body. Lean, not too heavy, it's a big difference between the Bobtail and the Bearded Collie. But here you see also a very nice representative of the breed. The hand is doing an incredible job as well. Yeah. Just letting that dog go. So, all the way from Australia is this Kerry Blue Terrier, five-year-old Jack. It's an English, Irish, Australian Supreme Champion, Torum's Calico Jack at Iris Blue. Owned by John Lecourt, Keith Brown, Robbie Gray, and Dr. Michael Tipple. I finally have some easy names. And handled by Simon Briggs, who was a former International Junior Handler of the Year winner at Crufts in the 80s. Bred by Ron and Carol Ramsey in the UK. So, as I said, he's an English and Irish Australian Supreme Champion, winner of 42 Best in Shows in Australia, including the prestigious Melbourne Royal. Again, you know, listening to your story, Marina, here this dog shows also how international our dog world is, you know. 
we have the same hobby, we have the same passion for dogs, and this, you know, in every country around the world, where they have uh, do our dog sports, where they have dog shows. Interesting, this Carrie, this Carrie Blue, also a very, very popular show dog. We want to see a square silhouette. We want to see quite a long head with parallel lines, dark, oval-shaped eyes. We want to see medium front and rear angulation, level top line, good reach of neck. And also again here we want to see this typical light curly open coat. And also here we want to see the blue color which will come better with getting older. I was actually quite, um, I, I, I was mesmerized by that previous dog, so I haven't got my notes for the next dog ready. Can you really? For that? the eagle? Well, no, 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 from the, the uh, Jolo Quintal. Right. Ah, here we go. So, the, this is Indio. Um, he's actually registered as Indio, it's a three-year-old male. This is the Jolo Quintal, uh, owned by Aldara Camarena, handled by Jorge Flores, and bred by Guillermo Espinosa. It's a champion in Mexico and Argentina and has many, many awards. So many here that I can't possibly list them all. But he is the only Jolla Quintal with the highest number of best in shows in the history of Mexico and in the world, apparently, according to their commentary form. So that's 41 best in shows this dog has. You know, the British name is Mexican name. To pronounce. I know, but I'd like to respect like the breed and right. use the proper name. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's fine. Well, we have them in three sizes, and also here you see this beautiful silhouette, you know, and also this dog has nothing to hide, you know. <coughs> and also, we just saw him move, and we will see him move again, going around with this very nice and well balanced dog. And I must say some of the dogs who are bred or who are coming from Mexican lines are really doing very, very well around the world and winning on the highest level. And still it's, it's, it's a very special breed and not a very common breed. So moving on to the table. This is the representative from Thailand. The Beagle, perfect companion to Bruce Almighty, otherwise known as Bruce, a four-year-old male. Owned by A. Peter Pong and Pong Ter Tira Wanon. Handled by Tan Tiravich and bred by Peter Pong. Okay, A. Peter Pong. Yeah, sorry, okay. Apologies for that, they're quite difficult to say. So, a, a champion in America, Thailand, the Philippines, Taiwan, Pakistan, Azerbaijan, Costa Rica, China, and Vietnam. Multiple best in show winner across Thailand. China, Vietnam, and many countries in Asia. 136 times best of breeds and over 100 times winning the group internationally and 20 best in shows. He brought a fan club with him, you know. With the Beagle, with the Beagle we want to see this melting, soft expression. This lovely eye shape, dark in color. Of course, also the Beagle is a, a British breed and also the Beagle we see around the world. Still, the Beagle is a very, very strong breed and a very strong quality-wise breed in England. But also, here representing Thailand, the Beagle. It's a third best hound we have, Marina. Yeah. So this is the Brazilian representative. This is Sullivan. Registered name BR Lake Park Sullivan. It's a two year old male. Owned by Luciana Bampi and Leona Bampi. Handled by Claudio Cruz. And the breeders are also Luciana and Leona. This is a Brazilian champion. And number one ranking all breeds from Brazil. And best in show in the biggest show in Brazil. The only the only basset hound in the history of Brazil to get to the number one in the national ranking. It's 22 times best in show. 
and has, I'm not sure, the best dog in Group 6 in Brazil. CAC, an excellent at the World Dog Show in Milan 2015. All these titles in only six months of career. You know, and I don't want to repeat myself, Rina, but also again, this dog shows that uh, in the past some of those breeds, you know, were a bit over exaggerated. But this dog is a strong dog, it's a sound dog, it's a good moving dog. And you can look under him, there is enough uh, daylight under him. It's very interesting how clever our breeders are worldwide to produce animals like this, you know, and, and also that a dog, a basset hound, is really representing uh, also Brazil, which is a strong doggy country. And look how he goes, Rina. Light and easy, and also with an excellent tail carriage, happy moving around. Very nice, very well performed. Okay, so now we come to the Crufts Best in Show winner. Representing Crufts from March this year. This is the Scottish Terrier, six-year-old bitch called Noppa. McVans to Russia with love. Owned by Marina Kenkina. Handled by Rebecca Cross. Bred by Vandra Huber and Michael Kralushki. So Russian, American, British, Canadian, and an international champion, and lots of other countries too. Obviously with Best in Show at Crufts two-time American national winner and was best of breed at Westminster as well. Has been shown, as you can imagine, all over Europe, Canada, America and Russia. And Nopa is a descendant of champion Gale Force postscript, Peggy Sue, who won 1995 Westminster dog show in America. Well, a really showy family. Yes. Now we saw him also, and I can I can add another win because this dog won the Terry Group yesterday at the Holland Cup. Oh, well. well, that's so right. That, of that's course. his last win, but what he did, you know, the Scottish Terrier. It's a low set terrier. You need to get a man's hand under the chest from the table to the breastbone. Uh, you want to see a well developed rib cage, quite broad, level top line, nice neck, limp slightly arched neck, high set tail, and also coat quality, coat structure. It's very, very important. And a nice, well-profiled head. And also, here you see a very, very easy moving Scotty. And to be very honest, I'm quite proud, you know, here in Amsterdam, that, of course, I'm proud that we have the World Challenge for the second time. But also, if I see how the handlers are presenting the dogs, you know, with attention for the animals, and this is so very important if we want to keep our hobby going around. Yeah, it's lovely to see a Crafts Best in Show winner again in the show ring, because often people retire the Crafts Best in Show wins, but That's it's lovely. lovely to see yes, him. Yes, lovely. So, the second from last representative is from Austria. This is the miniature shout of black. This is Stedlin zooming in otherwise known as Fabrizio, is a 20-month-old male, owned by Maximilian Meyer, and handled and bred by Mia Eshtad. This dog was Junior World Winner 2015, and Group 2 World Winner 2015, and Austro is the top dog in Austria this year, and has been shown in Italy and Austria. Okay, right. Well, the schnauzer is, is also the miniature schnauzer. We have the standard schnauzer, we have the reason schnauzer, but the black miniature schnauzer here presenting today. In profile, we want to see a square dog with moderate front and rear angulation. We want to see a nice head with good length, good parallel lines in skull and muzzle. We want to see an oval, dark shaped eye. And also here, coat quality is very important. We want to see a nice harsh coat. And it's a miniature dog, but it's a miniature dog with a great temperament, this schnauzer. A very sportive and active dog. And finally, this is our last contestant for the Yukonuba World Challenge 2015. This is the Italian Greyhound from Italy. Now wait for this. This, <laughs> the pet name is Falla Brava. But the registered name is Falabrava del Barone Rampanta. You're wonderful, Marina. <laughs> Italian charm. Do you like my Italian? So, this is a four and a half year old female. 
handled by Gaetano Gadodoni, bred by Dorella Goldoni, and owned by Dorella Goldoni. It's a champion in Italy, an international champion, Luxembourg, Croatia, Slovenian, and San Marino champion. Has multiple group wins and best in shows, and has mainly been shown in Italy, Slovenia, Croatia, San Marino, Luxembourg. Okay. And now you. <laughs> now me. Yes, I was still looking at the dog. You know, sometimes you are really watching the dogs, and then wow, the Italian Greyhound, the smallest in the side hound group in Britain, they are in the toy group, but that doesn't matter. It's it's. Um, a, a typical side hound you, you want to have the with medium medium to light bone also here and it's in all side hounds important you want to have nice length of leg you know and you want to have this typical side hound silhouette quite deep set quite curved group that's why you get this very typical movement but also here you want not that they are getting too fine but also here with the minute with this it, you can say we can say we have a very very nice representative of the breed so ladies and gentlemen that was section three the final section for the Yukonuba world challenge final 2015. our judge eugene yaroslimsky from russia has assessed these dogs to the best of his ability in this ring today and later tonight, after six o'clock, we will find out who his four finalists will be. That goes through to the best of the best final for the Yukonuba World Challenge.